Hey guys, Mouse here again for another video on extreme level content. And just a while ago, we were able to finish chapter 15 reverse mode against Metus using this lineup with a 358k total power. So in this video, I'm going to share with you guys, of course, the replay of the clear as well as the builds that I used. And most importantly, I'm going to share with you guys a lot of tips regarding clearing these types of content especially about the builds that would work well here but we're also going to break down the synergy between all of this and we're also going to feature the new artifact set we used okay so now let's go ahead and take a look at this very intense replay let's go Okay, so I almost feel like Wu Jun Chul was the MVP, or maybe I'm just biased because Wu Jun Chul is uh, such an amazing, like super amazing 
SSR unit and I'm not even joking so you guys might think huh what's that would you Chul just uh, uh, broke the shield and after that he's nothing guys listen I'm gonna show I'm gonna show you why Wujin Chul played a big part there the breaking part is one thing but it's actually not just the breaking part so I've shown this I've showcased Wujin Chul already before in a video where I cleared the hard mode of chapter 18 Shadows Time where we had to fight against three orcs and Wujin Chul was the MVP there hands down not Jin Wu, not whoever and here's why in the hard mode i showcased the value of wujun chul's support skill because there were three enemies there and there are a lot of mobs and a lot of fireballs or lightning balls uh, coming here and there left and right wujun chul's support skill provides dashes uh two of them for 20 seconds so those extra dashes actually was the game changer because i was trying so hard to complete that dungeon and i can't seem to finish it because everything was almost like one hit and adding more dashes helped me secure a lot of extreme evasion and avoid a lot of damage okay and this thing right here also works well with the plum sword amplifying draw spamming via dash okay it also gives a huge damage output because skills uh, that won't use uh, the, the plum sword you can use them with the amplifying draw because you have extra dashes and you're not gonna run out of it but in that specific match okay Bujin Chul was a breaker but this thing right here the extra dash that it provides because we need a lot of dashes because Metus has a lot of attack patterns and weird attack patterns wherein he dashes and then, then there are some green energy balls that's uh, flying here and there and there was this um the zombie the mobs etc so this thing right here actually helped me a lot it, it provided a lot of help in terms of avoiding those damage because i'm gonna get one hit i'm gonna get one hit so that's one thing and let's talk about the artifacts so when it comes to clearing those types of content it's very hard to do the standard build okay i do have here a uh, counterpart of the defense solid analysis right here i have those i have prepared those but this time around i did not use them that's because if i use those i'll probably lack survivability so what i did instead is for my melee character or hunter to use an hp based gear which is the solid analysis of saw so that it would help me survive all those mobs that are attacking me while i break metus so that's one so instead of trying to improve the defense which really doesn't make any sense it's pointless because he won't be able to deal as much damage anyway and i also use the weapon of saw here to increase the hp even more and that's why our breaker became very tanky he almost died with 1k hp I, I can't imagine finishing this with low hp and just high defense it does not scale well and i'm not sure if this is even penalized and uh, so that's one of the things that uh, helped me here uh, and this new set of course increases crit rate and crit damage after stacking the grid buff 10 times when the user hits a target with an attack that deals break damage it applies the grid effect so it worked well with wujin jewel because of the skill spamming so it it will probably work well with saw as well so they are not a burst shield breaker they break shield they chip it off one by one with many attacks so this worked well and this additional crit rate actually helped alicia as well because it's a penalty map and we badly need this crit rate percentage not the artifact crit rate i'm gonna show alicia's build later so for mail in feature this is the build the palace set with outstanding connection so one thing i tried this stage using an almost full plus 20 set blessing set right here as you can see uh blessing set there i have i have them 15 and 20 and i also have them in my accessories but 
I removed it. I removed this. It was in in that case it was very underwhelming. Not because of the stats, but the effect. Okay? Because right here with my mail-in feature wearing the palace set, I can guarantee that my Alicia will always have this up because whenever he she uses the first skill, she'll have the shield and she will get the damage bonus from the garden set. Whereas in this set, you're gonna get 20% damage after tagging out. And there is also a duration which is gonna be 20 seconds and the cooldown is 25 seconds. So I tried this set and my problem was it's hard to time this gap. Because if I failed once, like in the cooldown time, I uh, actually, if I used it, then it will mess up the, the entire rotation. As opposed to this one, this will always be there. Because basically, when I'll just need, I just need to cast the first skill of Alicia and be able to get that benefit. And let's talk about the Aquamarine set. There's also a cooldown here, which is 20 seconds and the duration is 15 seconds and the attack increase effect of 28%. So instead of the 20% bonus damage with a bit of heal, what I have is a 10% damage increase with a 28% attack increase. So I feel like, I feel like they're just about the same. And this one benefited me more in that particular case because I had more control over half of the damage here. So I, I tried the run many times and uh, I, I switched back. This, this was supposed to be a new artifact <laughs> showcase, but, but it didn't work out well. So that's the build for mailing feature. But let's talk about her skills because I found value here with one of the skills here so a lot of people already talked about how she buffs alicia the damage she gives everything so in most of my fights against metus actually this thing actually helped so whenever she casts a cut butler or a melee feature takes 64 percent of the user's damage taken directly so in the previous one i was able to dodge most of the attacks but in most cases I was not able to so i saw the value of this particular skill in terms of clearing hard content because my alicia is gonna get one hit all the time most of the time because her hp is just 11.8k and mailing feature helped me in many of the runs not not the run where i finished but like it could have turned out that way okay in in many cases but i've tried her in many runs but this actually saved me many times so that's where i saw that uh, this one is i'm pretty sure that this is gonna help me further in clearing those hard content where everything is almost one hit and the a3 effect of course wow so a lot of people recommended uh like a2 like th that's true that's true this is this is actually already a good one or so I thought. But when I got this, everything changed. The feeling is different. This thing, especially in Power of Destruction, is like having a Park Heejin that buffs Jin Wu, that buffs all the attack units with a lot of attack. Not just Alicia, but all attack units are gonna benefit from Mei Lin. She gives a lot of attack percentage. So there were times that Mei Lin Fisher is not needed, like uh, there are particular game content that she doesn't excel at, at. But here in this case, aside from the damage, um, the feeling of uh, safety because of this is actually good. Like a lot of seriously, a lot of times I was I was saved by this during my runs. It's just that I went ultra instinct in that that last fight. <laughs> just kidding. But anyway, now let's talk about Alicia and the build that you should do when clearing these kinds of dungeons. So let's take a look at the stats. So my Alicia is already at seventeen thousand seven hundred fifty attack. Because that's because of the high stats of the new artifacts. So later I'm gonna show you. And the crit rate is there you go guys there you go zero why because this doesn't have any value in high penalty areas if you get penalized all of your artifact crit rates are gonna be uh well i'm not sure how much 
the reduction is but i'm pretty sure i almost do not crit in that kind of situation where the gap is like hundreds of thousands of total power and the crit damage is 180 percent now you might be wondering okay you don't have crit but you have crit damage well my firstly my gears are <laughs> full of crit damage but the one you want to the one you're looking for when it comes to beating stages with high penalty are these crit rate percentages that's why that's why they sell it in these banners you, you can see the pattern chahi in also has that crit rate increase so this one is different as explained by pain blade in and it's explained by a lot of content creators so which is why i still crit a lot even though i don't have this and my build here i use toughness two piece just to get another eight percent crit if you have artifacts that has crit here then that means you wasted some points on the crit rate which is which basically doesn't work doesn't have as much value so if you want to clear hard content then you have to have gears that are purely about damage and attack and penetration this is my build and i was able to deal a lot of damage and i'm still able to create a lot some of my ultis i think uh, were able to create so that's one of the tips that uh that i can give you and uh, this is what carried me through this aside from of course guys necessary this is necessary if you want to beat that kind of gap the most important thing is having an overpowered banner and that's the truth like like if you don't have those it's impossible right but it shouldn't just stop in having some op banners because some of us have limited budgets like like mine i, I i'm a spender but i'm a low spender so these are these are the only things i have so i'm a part of the coupon gang the 30 percent coupon gang so i think that's all i can share in this video if you want to clear those hard content like extreme penalty maps then your gears must be that would work better in terms of fighting at a disadvantage okay so the builds here are going to be different than for example we're fighting a white tp then in that case i'm just gonna go full dps then i'm gonna add more crit rate so that's gonna be it for this video and i hope that you guys at least got a thing or two that you can use to help improve your gameplay thank you very much don't forget to like and subscribe if you want these kinds of content and just in case your support is still free in the sla content creator program my link is in the description please feel free to support me there because that would help me a lot right see you in the next video